Hi friends, in this video we will be seeing about full ladder using behavior model. Previously it is nothing but data flow modeling. Now we will be converting this data flow modeling into behavior model. To convert this into behavior model, first thing what we have to do is just write we have to write one line always at the rate in brackets inputs a comma b comma c in is our input so next we will be writing as begin in this begin and end we will be having our code so this is the end we will be having our code just remove this assign statement if you remove this assign statement then our behavior model will be ready so that is a simple difference between this data flow modeling and the behavior model if you check the syntax so we got some error it is nice to get some errors so previous videos I have not got any errors so I have already told that in behavior model we have to write registers not as wires so let us check again we have got some rigid errors mm, let us take wire and the outputs as registers so register s comma c now let us check it out now you will be getting a clear difference between wires and registers so what is this 28 line states I love it 32 line states ok let us take reg registers if it is registered then only it is allowing so we got successfully compiled if I take out this registers outputs registers and just save it and then I compile it let us see so it is not accepting it so output should be always kept in registers so in behavior model we have to check carefully that outputs are given as registers as well as the intermediate bytes are also declared as registers because those are the outputs for one AND gates so we got some error so the error is nothing but here we are running the symlink before so we need, to, we need to close it just run run all if you run all then we will be getting it so this is also full adder so at this time we will be doing for a big value triple one so if we take a triple one values and let us see what is the output for that post constant again we are applying one post constant is also one and let us check the values so all are ones then sub and carry is also one and one one and one let us check it so we got one and one the sum and one similarly you can check another values also you will be getting the same values and hoping that you know w1 w2 and w3 those are the intermediate wires signals for the gates of xor gate of a and b first one w1 and for AND gate as you can see here these two AND gates we have so W2 and W3 and we, at last we got C is nothing but our carry and this is nothing but sum thanks for watching this video hope you will be seeing our next